Yo, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the fastest and most effective dribble moves in NBA 2K23. I'm going to be covering the smaller guard builds and then the taller ISO build dribble moves as well. These dribble moves are literally going to get you guys unlimited crabs like you're playing 2K22. Just look how much space I cover with this one move alone. Y'all are also going to be getting crazy ankle breakers. These dribble moves are insanely fast for the small guards and even the taller ice to builds you're going to be peeking on. I promise y'all will have your defenders looking stupid even if you're on a 6'8 or 6'9 ISO build. Look at this. Just look at how you're going to be moving on a 6'9 point guard. Alright, I think y'all have seen enough of that. But yes, I'm going to be giving y'all the best dribble moves for small guards, so any guards that are 6'4 and shorter. And then I'm going to be covering y'all taller ISO builds as well, so anyone from 6'5 to like 6'9. And after I show y'all the SIGs, I'm also going to be showing y'all the playmaking badges that I use that I would use on a small guard. And then also the playmaking badges I'll use for my taller ISO build as well, because yes, they are a little bit different. And then I'm also going to be going to the mic court later after I show y'all the moves and show y'all some very simple dribble moves that I'm doing that get me wide open. I do not have a controller, hand cam, or anything. But I will be, it'll be super simple moves, I promise y'all will understand what I'm saying, that are just super effective, like anyone, I could give the control to my grandmother and she could be doing these dribble moves. These really will be the last dribble moves that I probably release at, for 2K23, because I really don't see myself changing them. These are super fast, like I'm saying, very easy to peek with, y'all get plenty of crabs, that's actually my favorite part is the move, the moving hesitation that y'all were seeing me do in the intro. I get plenty of crabs off that, that is literally how I get probably like 50% of my threes when I'm playing threes. And yes, y'all do get the Steve Francis spam for the small guard SIGs. But that's enough of me talking. I'm going to go ahead and get into the SIGs. I'm going to show y'all the point guard SIGs first. Then I'm going to show y'all the taller ISO build SIGs. And then we're going to get into the playmaking badges and then some mic work dribbling. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and start off with the small guard. So anyone 6'4 and shorter, these are the SIGs for you. Make sure y'all do drop a like on the video if y'all did skip this part. I do appreciate y'all. Dribble style is Michael Jordan. That's always going to be the best dribble style no matter what. Signature size up to Steve Francis. This is so you can do the spam that I was showing you on the my court. The size up escape package, I used to use Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker still is good. Y'all can use that, but I've been finding way more, uh, just way more space with Trey Young, and it's just super easy, and just uh, you can chain a lot of moves quicker together with uh, Trey Young rather Kemba Walker. Moving crossovers is Russell Westbrook. I use this on both of my builds. It gives you a really fast move right there that it just showed you right Right here, that one right there. It gives you a super easy, quick move to the basket. Moving behind the backs, I use Allen Iverson. I used to use Damian Lillard, but Allen Iverson is just a little bit quicker, and I like it, and I can do more combos with it. Moving spins, I always have basic on no matter what build I'm on, so you can do the spin back. Moving hesitations. This is the important part here. This is how I'm getting so many crabs that I was showing you on in the intros. I could just, I could have sat there and showed you all a 10-minute video of me getting crabs. I'm telling you all. Scotty Pippen. But do make sure you pair this with either Trey Young or Kemba Walker so you get the really uh, large hesitation. I pair it with Trey Young. That's why I like Trey Young better. Trust me, Trey Young gets you so much space. Sometimes I'm literally just running and I do the move and I literally am five feet to the left and my defender's just lost. Moving setbacks, uh, I have on normal. For small guards, you want to use normal so you can get the Oz to slide. Um, if you, I don't know what that is, it's that move right there that I just showed you. It's really easy to get crabs on that as well, and you can do the Chad side out of it. For those of y'all who are wanting to do the Chad side out of the Asa side, you need to have on Kyle Lowry hop jumpers. All right, so those are the point guard sigs. I'm going to just show y'all some quick moves. This isn't going to take long. If y'all don't need this, then y'all can skip. But to do the moving hesitation that I'm talking about is you hold right trigger, and if the ball's in your right hand, you flick up and diagonally left. And then if it's in your left hand, you go up and diagonal to the right with your right stick, by the way, with your right stick. Up and diagonal left with your right stick, up and diagonal right with your right stick. So this is what I'm just telling y'all. This is what I'll do most of the time. If someone's a defender's chasing me, he's right on my hip, boom, I'll just be running and I'll just do it real quick. And it'll get me so much space, I'll be able to shoot off of it. And then you can also double it. So like I was telling y'all, so if you do it, boom, boom, that's another way you can get a lot of crabs right there. Just up and diagonal left and then up and diagonal right. You do it right away. So up right, up left, and look, you get that right there. That can get you a lot of crabs as well. All right, y'all, I'm also going to be showing you all the Chad side real quick, which is a super easy move to do. It really is, and it's honestly super effective. I get wide open off of it. You just have to have the dribble moves that I showed you and the hop jumper that I showed y'all for guards. But when you're running, y'all know how to do the Asa side. You just are holding right trigger. You run and flick down. If you don't know how to do it, you just flick down on the right stick. And then after you flick down on the right stick, you pull back on the right stick. You don't flick it down again, but you kind of hold it. I don't know, I'd say for about half a second, it's just flick, hold. Wait till you finish animation though, don't do it too fast. If you do it too fast, I'm just gonna get rid of the ball so I can get my adrenaline bar back. 
But if you do it too fast, it's gonna give you something dumb. I'm just gonna show y'all what will happen if you do it too fast. Like, if I do slide pullback, nah, honestly, it still works. But try not to do it too fast, because sometimes I will do it too fast and it won't give me the animation. It's just kind of muscle memory right now, so it's kind of hard to mess it up, but like, like that. That's what I mean. If y'all do it too fast, it'll give you that little pullback right there. Make sure you almost finish the animation. So like, flick, pull back. You see that? You flick and then you pull back on the right stick. So flick down on the right stick, let it go for a second, then pull down on the right stick. It's just gonna throw your player back. It's super easy and very effective. Now for the Steve Francis fam, I literally could not figure this out for so long to save my life. What is this dude messaging me? Anyways, I literally could not figure it out for the longest time because I was holding right trigger. There's so many different ways to do it. And I was holding down the right trigger and stuff like that. But all you had to do is move the left stick into the right like this. So you would just run if you were doing that, obviously. And then you start flicking up in diagonally to the left with your right stick. But you don't do it super fast. You're just going flick, flick, flick. It's kind of hard to do when I'm trying to explain it. We all saw that right there. I'm just flicking it at a consistent rate. I'm really not doing it that fast. I'm just flicking, flick, 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 flick. Like, you, if you do it too fast, it's gonna make you do a bunch of random moves, but... It's honestly pretty slow. For as fast as the move looks, you really are flicking the right stick pretty slow. Just find the perfect range and y'all are gonna be able to do it. It's really easy. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the dribble moves for the taller ISO builds now, anyone above 6'4". So, you're gonna do Michael Jordan's uh, dribble style still. The signature size up is Dwayne Wade. I have used Donovan Mitchell and I actually do like Donovan Mitchell a lot too. Y'all can play around with them both and see which one you like better. I'm using Dwayne Wade currently though. Size up escape, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant just gives you the fastest little jump back. You can shoot off a lot and just get wide open off of that. Moving crossover again, it's still Russell Westbrook. You can get plenty of room runs with this. Moving behind the backs, I use Allen Iverson on tall guard as well. Moving spins is basic, especially on this build, because y'all know y'all do spin backs on tall ISO builds literally all the time. Moving hesitations is still Scottie Pippen. You get the large moving hesitation even on your tall ISO build. And then the moving step backs, instead of normal, unless you really want the Asta slide if you're running threes on your tall build. But I use Luka Doncic, so I can do this out of the spin back, the long drawback. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the playmaking badges that I use as well. This is on my small guard. Uh, I had Ankle Breaker on just for clips really, but you don't need to run Ankle Breaker, especially if you like playing stage or whatever. You can run it on silver. I run it on gold right now. This is just for fun because I like having like getting content and just dropping people. I do Clamp Breaker on silver. Handles for days you need to have this max, so I have it on gold. Quick first step is important on any build. You always want to have this as high as you can possibly get it. I do Vice Grip on bronze just so I don't lose the ball as much. I think any more is a little bit overkill. And then Needle Threader on bronze just so I can get the ball to my teammates in the corner. You can throw them fast dots. Hyperdrive on Hall of Fame. This is just so you can chain everything together really fast. All those misdirections, speed boosts, all that stuff. And then Killer Combos as well as that in the same category. So have that as high as you can get it. I get it on gold. And then the rest I do on Pluckable Gold so I can get away from these people who spam square all the time and just get the ball. And then here are my playmaking badges for my taller ISO builds. I go Clamp Breaker on gold. Because you're going to be room running a lot on your ISO build, unfortunately. You know how that is. And then handles for days on silver. Quick for step, like I was saying, always go max as high as you can get this. And then I do vice grip on bronze still as well. Then I do hyper drive on gold just to get those moves and killer combos on gold. And then I do unpluckable silver. So they're pretty similar, honestly. I just do clamp breaker a little higher on my iso build because you are going to be rumoring a little more. But those are the badges for the tall iso build. That is going to be it for this video. If this video did help you at all and y'all got these dribble moves, then make sure y'all do drop a like on the video. It really does go a long way and helps out a lot. And if y'all are new to the channel, make sure y'all do sub up and turn on those notes. I go live pretty much every night doing playing with viewers. I'd love to play with some of y'all.